Merce. You're watching G4 TV. This is Freestyle 101. And I'm about to go in there and freestyle, like really make it up as I go along and talk about things that are relevant to this network, like my broken Xbox, 2K Sports getting shunned by EA and the Madden conspiracy and all types of things and comic books and stuff you probably don't care about from rappers. But I don't have a gun, I don't have any crack, but I'm going to go in there and rap. Check it out. What are you looking at, though? I see you. I see you. Oh, wow. Freestyle. Come on. All right, freestyling is technically off the head. Now what I do is freestyle for you and you and you and you. Here we go. I really want to buy Assassin's Creed, but my label won't give me the money that I need. I gotta go to Warner Brothers, talk to some other people about getting some stuff on my PS3. I forgot, I can say shit, they need to get equipped, so I can get my loot and play video games to grip. I never played Ratchet and Clank, but thank God, I got a PS3 and now it's not that hard. I never played Kingdom of Hearts, I'm gonna start, because now I have a PlayStation. Check it, the Mark Sat Xbox broke three times. I had an Xbox Elite, and I'm trying to get it fixed, but when I call them back they give me a whole bunch of whack bullshit it's like merce you can't have your system i'm like look i'm just another fucking victim you just released halo 3 and now i can't play it because i don't have the xbox for my tv and i just got hd it's only 720p but hey fuck it. i need a 1080i plasma 42 inch so i can sit on my couch i don't bench more than 145, but if you play me in Halo, you won't survive. It's like that, I'm a video tough guy. I watch Attack of the Show on Thursdays, why? I should have say Tuesdays or Wednesdays, cause that's when the new comic books come out. And without a doubt, I read Spider-Man every month. Until Joker decided to try to front and try to kill it off and start this whole new thing called Brand New Day. But if you're not a comic book nerd, you on anyway. Let me go on to the next thing called Comic-Con. In June, I'm taking off all shows so I could be on. I'm not performing in the month of June so that I could be at Comic-Con with you buffoons. And I could sit out there and jock all the artists. And Brian Wood could be a dick again to me. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm not trying to start shit, but hey. I'm down with John Ma Food and David Mack, by the way. I read Kabuki every other week or so. It kind of got lost, but anyway, back to the flow. This is the show. Freestyle 101, and I'm about done, but I keep freestyling cause I shoot from the hip like a gun, and I never trip, I always never slip on the microphone, it's merciful president, and it's evident, the rhymes I kick I never hesitate, and my brethren went to the store to buy Xbox NFL Tour, for me, I call Rafael Verratti, A and say could you send me out a quick package today so that I can play, um, Call of Duty 4, and well I'm probably gonna miss that when it drops cause I will be out on tour, and when I'm performing, it's not normal for me to be able to sit on the back of the bus and play Xbox 60 because the TV's fucked up. Somebody's always trying to fuck some bitch in the back when I'm just trying to get a quick nap. Poor, I'm just trying to play some games. Oh, so much stuff has come out that has been lame. I won't say it, but it comes with... What is that Moto shit that comes with the PS3? Moto GP? I paid 800 bucks and that's the shit you give to me. Don't front like you're giving me a game for free. It's not Gyro Might. It's not Duck Hunt. It's not any of the games that I like to play. I want something of quality, like a Wii, but it costs $435, so fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> LA is the birthplace of freestylers. I used to say that they had the best freestylers in the world, but now that I've been around the world, I see there's better. But it all comes down to one point. Second to None was on Yo TV Raps. They're a group from Compton, and they said, they asked them to freestyle, and they said they don't freestyle. And that kind of just meant, like, from then on, California had a chip on his shoulder. We had something, for, at least for me, being a younger kid. So then there's groups like Freestyle Fellowship, who they go to the Good Life Cafe. To me, that's where West Coast freestyling was burnt, born. And you freestyle every Thursday, you can get booed and, you know what I mean? You had to rap clean, you couldn't use the Iggy style. So you had to be really original, creative, and good to survive 30 seconds up there. The most brutal crowd. They can say what they want about the Apollo, but the Good Life was all kids from South Central Los Angeles, from group homes and Nation of Islam. Fruits. It was a tough crowd, literally a tough crowd and a tough crowd. So it just bred some of the best freestylers known to man. I think for LA, I know for me, 
everything here turns into a gangster thing. Like we have tag bangers, you know, kids that write graffiti in other cities aren't considered gangster. Anything you do, you have to be gangster about here. I've had kids try to stab me, shoot me, beat me up because I destroyed them lyrically. I've been in fist fights, been kicked in the face, bleeding, all kind of stuff, kicked out of my house, all over stemming from me embarrassing some guy in front of his girlfriend, in front of a bunch of people because he couldn't rap as good as me and he thought he could. You know, I missed days of school, brought butcher knives to school, kids, cause, and grown men used to come up to my high school to battle me because I was that renowned. Because I was 15 and my mom would let me go out to these nightclubs and I would serve somebody and then their little sister would find out where I went to school and boom, now I have five or six guys, grown men, waiting to beat up a 15 year old because he raps better. But, and I don't know where it comes from, but I still didn't back down like I'm not gonna lose. You know what I mean? You can beat me up. I've been beaten up, like kick my ass, but I'm not gonna lose, I'm better than you. For since hip hop started, Rocksteady, LA Breakers, like, you know what I mean? You're gonna battle, and that's just where it's all poop. But it can't be all, you have to be more than that. As a rapper, you have to be more than that. B boys kind of live off of battles. You know, DJs can kind of live off of battles. But MC, you can be the battle champion of the world, but if you can't make a good song, you're not crap. <laughs>